this video I'm going to show you step by step how to make a deer canopy bedding area. So we are in the buck bedding area and it's very, you can tell that it's a buck bedding area. It's farther away from food. There's rubs all around. And we actually have a canopy over here, which I'll put a video up on the screen. We have a canopy over here, but um, we actually have a rub in there too. So that's a really good de um, definition that that is a deer, or a deer probably most likely bedded there. Then I had a camera set up right behind this camera, yeah, a trail camera set up right behind the camera, and I had a photo of a deer bedding right just right behind the camera. So this is definitely a buck bedding area, and I cleared all this out behind me, and we're going to drop that limb and smash that stuff, and then they can bed right in here. And so the most important thing to note, though, is... If you make a deer bedding canopy, don't just call it at that. Don't say, oh, I made a deer bedding canopy, and now I have a deer bedding area. doesn't need any more work. That is farther from the truth. And deer bedding, air, deer bedding canopies are good to enhance your bedding areas, but they're not something that's just going to make a bedding area. In this location, we're going to plant switchgrass, conifer screening, by the switch switch grass we have a canopy bedding over here where we know deer have bedded we have rubs tons of sign of buck um, tons of buck sign and so we're just gonna enhance it a little bit by dropping this and clearing this out so they can bed and it's also nice because it's kind of up on this ridge or this little ridge so deer like that because they can see all around and so this is going to be really good hopefully a buck beds in it but the number one thing again do not make a deer bedding canopy and call it quits because there's a lot more that goes into it and that's not enough to just for just one deer to bed you need to have those um, switch grass conifer screenings stuff like that hinge cuts which is kind of like what we're doing it's kind of like a canopy so I cleared all this out and so now we're gonna go cut that limb and drop it and hopefully it provides some cover Alright, so we got it down, and hopefully they can bed right here, got a good surrounding, except for back here, but they can get protected. But deer like, they like where they can bed right here, look out in front of them, and have adjacent cover to them from behind. So, got this down, and I hinge cutted it, so half of the bark is still on the tree, the other half comes down. So this should still produ produce uh, leaves and vegetation, so that's even better for them to eat during part of the hunting season during the summer if they bed here. And so I didn't want to cut off too much of this because I still wanted that vegetation and that cover because what's the point of doing it if you're just going to cut all the other stuff off? So you got to keep this, even these little things back on. I cut off just a little bit so it's not in the way but hopefully that helps this spot a little bit more and we might be doing it doing it in some other places but this is gonna look really good by next year this time and we're gonna have switch grass all through here uh, trees all kinds of stuff so I'm really excited to start working on this kind of stuff it's almost as fun as hunting and uh, it's just a really fun thing to do so Hopefully we can, back in here really needs switchgrass. There's a lot of goldenrod in here, 
that is not good cover for deer. So that's what I'm going to try to do with this. Make it a lot better, better buck bedding. And there's no really good trees to hunt, so I'll start tree stealing. And I hate using blinds for morning hunts when you're trying to be really quiet. So I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens with the spot. Maybe put a blind up 30 yards away to try not to make too much noise. The field's 100 yards over here, and you have to be really quiet because they're most likely feeding you in that field. So if you hear that one little zipper, I'm sure some moths will go. That's the loop. So, all right, we got this all done, and hopefully there's more to come on stuff like this, making bedding ears, making food plots, and habitat um, improvements in general.